match up here to qualify for the main event at the World Championship, Dickies Arena, to see who is going to be able to play on that stage no matter what between Renegades and Optic Gaming. Let's get this one going, Stacks. Here we go. Drees to kick it off for Optic Gaming, and Kami got run into. He got the demolition, but it's just that block right off the kickoff that gave Optic a chance. Otherwise, it looked like they were going to concede a very early kickoff goal. Yeah, I mean, you already saw it was a strong start there for Optic. Set up, put a good shot in. That's the level of aggression you want to see. Here's a chance here for Alu. And no, he ends up missing. That's right off the crossbar. Looked like a guaranteed goal for Optic Gaming out of the two attempts that they've had. And unfortunately for them, it doesn't go in the back of the net. Dree is met at the center line, so this Optic squad been so up and down. And it's, it's hard to imagine the team that we saw on day two just looked lost against Carmine Corp. But maybe that's exactly how good KC has been. Maybe one of the hottest teams in the world. This goes out to the side. Fever up ahead to CJ. CJ, who's going to want that one back? It was an open net and he couldn't convert. So both teams one and one on practically open net misses. But Renegades getting things going here at the start. And we expect to see just a little bit more speed here on the transition from Renegades, but Optic have done a great job of being able to disrupt. I mean, look at that challenge there in the midfield. It's an open net look, and Drees will put it in. Optic Gaming strike first. Drees getting the first goal at the series that could put he and his team into the main event. And it didn't take long. Optic have had a couple good looks already. The physical play hasn't really been there, though. Renegades have avoided that for the most part. There's a bump against Mist. And Drees has forever and a day to play this ball. Got around Fever. CJ, CJ there to meet him. Drees continues on with the play. Try to drop it off to Alu. And Mist is going to catch up to this. It was a little wide anyways. Gets back in time. Very good. Look at this. And then immediately turns. A low boost challenge there on the back wall. But as long as he can disrupt Renegades on the transition, Mist is doing his job. Goes for boost on that play, and Alu takes the 50. Almost looks like it could have been a double commit, but Optic communicating here, which is exactly what you want to see. Alu's going to take charge here. Had Drees jumping as well. CJ, CJ to the corner. Drees there to stop him, but there's Fever. Nothing in the tank. And that means Mist can take charge. Optic in full force after the demolition. Man advantage. Has subsided, and now Kami. Doesn't have anybody else forward, so just throwing this downfield, hoping somebody can run onto it. Nobody has, but they will set up. Kami looking for CJ, CJ. Instead, gonna have to call his own number, and he converts! Goes right across, missed! Look at Kami with the solo. Fever, hands with the ball on the sidewall, has the flip. Uses at the right time and Miz struggles to recover. You could tell was not expecting that, but with Renegades, expect the unexpected. One all here, right at the halfway mark of game one. Something to be expected as Fever shot is blocked away. CJ, CJ there against Drees. Drees has been all over CJ in the first almost three minutes of game one. Bouncing pass. This still ricochets across. And CJ, CJ has to sweep it away. Renegades under a little bit of duress there. As Optic kind of got a lucky bounce. And then everybody just leaves this ball at midfield for Optic to take charge. Oh. Drees, tough angle, could not find it. Drees trying to line up the double there, but just touched it a little too softly. He had the boost for the play. That being said, Optic have to try again. 1-1's one, the score. Pass midfield. Drees does get the beat there. That one will go straight down, but it's a great read from CJ. CJ. That one gets away from Fever, though, and Optic might try to take control. Good rotation back from Cami to stop that one. Optic have been all over the Renegades' net. CJ. CJ probably still lamenting that early miss. Could prove to be the difference, but they're still hanging around in a tie game with just over a minute to go. And now Renegades trying to set up shop inside Optics half of the field. CJ over to Fever. Ooh, gonna like take that. his time. 
Love the slow play, but there's Drees for the block. CJ over to Kami, and there is Mist instead. That's a good job by Kami, realizing he's got to get back in a hurry. Yeah, a little bit of hesitation, though, from Kami. Gives up possession, and now Renegade's in trouble. The shot comes through, but Fever able to get a save. Now transition. Kami uses all the boost, tries to get that one past Drees. Fever across. CJ, CJ can't get there. Almost a great counterattack chance. Now Kami has to slow down Optic, who are on the charge. Can they pick up a goal here? 30 seconds remaining. We are still tied. Alu shot wow. is off the post and deflected away, but still dangerous. Missed, peppering the backboard. So All much pressure. of Optic is Illusion. Oh, no. no, and he can't follow, but Drees can with 13 to go. It was a matter of time. Optic peppering the net. Alu with the play high. Drees with the finish. And this could secure game one for Optic. You know, when you want to go play catch somewhere and you don't have friends, you just play with the wall. And that's exactly what Optic was doing. They just slammed the backboard time and time again. Finally, somebody came in and was able to put the ball in the net. But Renegade still has some life with three seconds left. It's Fever up high. Mist avoids the demo. And uh, Lucian will try and bring it to ground. Drees makes sure there's nobody around. And Optic takes game one. At towards the end of that for Optic, it seemed like they finally got things together offensive-wise. You could tell that Renegades had some opportunities. The counterattacks were there. It was just the passing was a little bit off. And again, a little bit of hesitation from the third man rotating in on one of those plays. And no shot came through. Actually, a lot of shots didn't come through this game for Renegades. Only three from them as Optic. I mean, they had 10 on the other end. Lots of chances there for them. Yeah, a lot of chances. Some bumps open things up as well. Miss did a good job avoiding contact multiple times coming down the stretch. It was clear that Renegades did want to pick up the physicality just a little bit, and Optic denied them that as OG takes game one. Drees with his ninth and tenth goals of this wild card stage. And now the Renegades go back to the drawing board as we get ready for Aquadome. And look, there's going to be a lot of calm on both sides. There's no panic to be had on either roster here. A wealth of experience for everybody, really other than Drees, in this environment. And he's held his own quite well. Yeah, Drees has done a good job just making sure he's locked in. Can't really tell uh, if, if with the nerves based on the gameplay we've seen. Just again, I think it's the fact that he's playing with Miss and uh, Lucian that kind of helps cover that aspect. Again, it's just amazing the story of Drees. You know, the, the internet amplifies the best and worst of everything, so it's really tough to generalize, but there certainly was a sizable subset of G2 fans that wanted to get rid of him at every opportunity, and Optic certainly happy to have him here after his two goals in game one and missed getting one here in game two great, off the feed from Drees. Great assist from Drees there. Missed finally follows it up. I mean, it puts a lot of power behind it, getting involved on the scoring. And we understand when Miss does start shooting, Optic Gaming become a completely different beast. He's already a very talented defender, but when he's on the offense as well, my goodness, can he put on some insane shots? CJ trying to play this laterally to throw off. Missed from the scent. Up high and easily deflected out by Drees. And that's not the best ball that CJ's ever played. And it almost resulted in conceding a goal. Optic all over Renegades again. That's a great touch though by CJ. CJ that fends off the attack very briefly. And Fever can come in and help out as well. But he doesn't have much boost in the tank. That is on target from Alu. 2-0. Woo! You can feel that one from Alu. Plays out. Great challenge there, pinch into your net. Oh man, you love to see it from Optic. The aggressiveness is paying off. Renegades, they gotta get this under control. Drees credited with the assist there, 100% goal participation over the first six minutes of this series. This missed will give way to Drees, why not? Going up against Kami. Now missed, indirect for himself perhaps, but he has to back off. Good aggressive play by Fever, not letting Optic get too comfortable in the zone. CJ, CJ might have had to go a little bit more forward as he didn't get any touch. Missed. Pancakes that against the wall. Here goes Alu, beaten by Fever. Chance now for Renegades to get one back, and Drees denies them. 
then the demo by Aleutian, and expect a lot of that. We could see an extermination out of Alu if Renegades aren't careful. There's Fever, though, on the drop down pass. One, two. Look at this. Miz trying to take his time. Cammy says, nope, thank you. Drops it to Fever. Fever with the speed test, and he passes with flying colors. Demos are all well and good, but sometimes you got to hit the ball, and Alu just a little bit slow to the punch there. Now Kami forced into a backflip, but he's got possession. Over one. Dree's there to help out. Fever's shot's going to whistle wide. Ned missed and Dree's kind of, or missed and Alu rather, kind of locked up in the same area. Now that physical play begins. Demos all over the field. This favors Optic. Dree's up to the ceiling. And it does not come down. So many chances on the side of Renegades and Optic over the course of this World Championship wild card to see which team can make their mark. As right now, we've seen Optic so much pressure. You see the shot come in. They're looking for a way to make this a quick series and add themselves to the number of teams moving on in the main event. As we've already had eliminations today, spotlights going out, but these two still fighting. Both teams that were swept by Carmine Corp on their way towards qualifying for the main event. This whistles across, caught a deflection or two, and Optic keep their lead for now. Kami over to Fever. Oh. There is no CJ. CJ after he was deleted off the field. And Fever can't keep the attack alive. Miss got around CJ. And then Alu denied his scoring opportunity. But Optic again threatening to get this goal back. Open up another two goal lead. Miss gonna take this himself. Hoping somebody can dive in, but nobody can as the ball sent out to the corner. Alu going to give this one to Dries. Dries with a bunch of boosts, but that's not necessarily the best touch to work with here. Ball in that midfield. You see Cammy. Oh, did he catch him? He caught him out! Cammy sends one downfield and Optic stunned! Every time it feels like Optic gets shot after shot, opportunity after opportunity. They're able to center the ball whenever they want. And then Renegades catch him on the counterattack. 2-2. Optic cannot put away the boys from down under. Yeah, it just, it just really felt like Optic did, just did not expect that. I think they felt like Renegades were trying to control the ball, throw away possession. The shot comes out, and now this game is slipping out of Optic's hands. We're approaching the final minute. This one all tied up. Renegades. Oh, wow. oh that's a good bump! Oh. And CJ, CJ will take the lead for Renegades! CJ, CJ's got four demos coming into this <laughs> entire Bang! match. And he watches a teammate just sideswipe Drees out of existence. <laughs> Three, two, <laughs> Renegades. You talked about Optic being physical. They didn't expect this. They got muscled. Now they got to work with this. With time ticking down, one minute remaining. Optic set the tone. Renegades. Battle back, got in their face, called their number. And now, Optic, low on boost, doesn't have the possession. Alu in a tough spot. Drees will look for the double here off the sidewall. Can't get it missed, tries to put a shot on. They're gonna need a little bit more than that, though, as the clock ticks down. Missed lateral pass for Aleutian. It's Alu and Drees both up, but the nobody demo. could get the shot, and Mist was taken out as well. So Optic has to reset. Kami there to make the stop. Down to 20 seconds. They'd love to add one more to loosen this lead just a little bit. It's Fever all the way across. CJ, CJ on his way back, not being too greedy. Kami waiting. Trees, oh. Fever off the crossbar, but Optic now has to go the length of the field with no time on the clock. This one got away, and Renegades tie the series. You say it got away from them, but the Renegades stole this one. The Bandits from OCE coming through, and for Optic, it was just they got too comfortable. They let things slip, and Fever, five demos there alone. You talk about Renegades 
and how this was going to be a physical game, but Renegades really kind of set the tone there with that one, showing that they can play Optic's same demo game against them and be successful. Only three shots this time officially for Optic. They were never able to convert on all those centering passes that they were trying to line up. Everybody but Dries on the scoreboard offensively for Optic Gaming. Everybody for the Renegades contributing to a winning effort that ties up this series in these long best of sevens through all of the wild card stage. You have to imagine it would favor a team that would be considered statistically the favorite like Optic, but Renegades have held their own all through this wild card stage. And now tied up with OG here, an eight and five record coming in. Now they are nine and six in the wild card stage, trying to make it a perfect 10 wins now. So this goes across and we're underway now with game three. Alu double tap did not line it up. Off the mark yet again. And Renegades will take that as they pound this away. Kami lining one up himself, trying to show him how it's done and it bounces off the crossbar. Okay, solo play city <laughs> as we start things off. We've had three attempts to get doubles off the backboard. And one thing has been confirmed. The backboard defense isn't there right now. Somebody get on that back wall on one of these squads to get a shutdown. I, know, I feel like the backboard's the only thing that is playing defense. CJ, CJ. Pass. Over to Kai. Is that in? After the demo, CJ's going to walk the dog home. Renegade's in front again. I mean, it really comes down to the demo. Knowing Dries, he, he's last back. It's a, a crazy dive. Instead of going in that, he tries to get an early challenge in. Pockets picked. Renegades pass it out and get the first goal. An electric start here. Both teams with a lot of speed, but Renegades able to battle through the storm. Off the kickoff, Dries able to hit missed. Alu waiting. He's going to give way to Dries. Double tap. Bang, bang. Dries with the double. What a response from Optic. Free backboard, it's automatic. Fever can only try to put a hand up as that one goes in. Can't stop him, you can only hope to contain him. Three goals and a pair of assists now for Dries as he ties up game three. And Kami, not the touch he was looking for to start this Pass. possession, and he's gonna pay the price for it. A dime over to Dries and it's a 2-1 lead. And this one, I mean, it, it, it's pretty simple here for Mopta. Kami, last one back. Pass from Alu to Dries. Kami trying to play a ball high with the pre-jump, and he exposed himself. Optic took advantage with that play, similar to how Renegades got their first goal. Well, here goes Aleutian. A little nudge from behind by Kami, forcing the issue. And that allows Fever to take charge no from boost. the back line. Try to make himself as big as possible against Alu. Didn't work out. Kami, decent ball, cut out by Dries. CJ, CJ way at the back, dancing around the youngster. Aleutian coming in. That'll be left for Mist. Already had more action in this first 90 plus seconds, Daz, and it felt like we'd had throughout the rest of the series. Yeah, this, this one has definitely been a lot more lively, so to speak, as Dries flip reset, almost got it in. Miss will get the follow-up. This drive from Optic is crazy. Look at this, everyone getting involved. Dries nearly converting oh, there. County had it sized up just in case, but he couldn't get there for the rebound as Miss gets his second 13 in the tournament now for Miss and Optic. Up two. That catch from Dries was crazy to start that play. Catches it into a flip reset. You love to see the mechanical ability. But now, Renegades, you know, they played this speedy game. And can Gambit get to the ball? No, he doesn't have enough boost. Could have been a chance there to at least bring this within one. This, again, out of, Renegades trying to play that, that speedy game. And is it working? Oh boy, it is. Cammy able to pick one up. They're one away from tying. I mean, they're all just swarming around there. Alu trying to find the right spot to throw this ball away because he doesn't want to bring it in front of the net. And instead, he set up Kami with a dream of a pass and Renegades back within one. Five goals. We're not even halfway through this game. 
I mean, it just seems like we're looking at pure offense here. And plenty more to come as Zalu has to go all the way back, and that could be very dangerous. CJ trying to set up Kami. Demo in behind the play. That takes Fever off the pitch for the moment. And now CJ, CJ, nobody there at all. We've seen that a lot. A lot of those high arcing passes out of the corner, just hoping somebody else is there. Not necessarily because of physical play, just the timing isn't quite right for either side. Despite well, that, they've still managed to run up the score here. Five goals in the first two and a half minutes. And looking now for more is Alu trying to drop it down to Dries and the timing again, just not there. The yeah, timing not there. A little bit worried about communication for Renegades. As you talk about passes not connecting, but then also mistouches leading to some uncomfortable moments in defense. Optic haven't punished those yet. But for Renegades, I think getting that under control is one, two, there's the shot. Dries does it all. He gets past the team by himself. Yeah, you know, for some reason, I just didn't think he could handle himself on land. I, I guess I've been reading the internet a little bit too much. Dries has been phenomenal. 4-2 lead now for Optic. He adds his fifth goal of this series. And he continues to battle missed for the team lead in scoring in the event. Now Dries taking this to the back wall. He's just doing a little bit of everything right now. Mist is going to have to jump into action here. Couldn't get a hand up on the shot, but Alu is there as well. Now an opportunity though. Kami going in behind the defense. CJ, CJ couldn't get the redirect around Mist. Six goals here, four on the side of Optic. As they have been in the driver's seat for this game. This game has been out of control to say the least, but Optic have done their best Monka steer throughout this one. With 55 seconds left, now it seems like things have been more so controlled and Renegade's trying to fight back. Miss trying to slow play and force Kami to boost into him. Sure he doesn't have much else to use. CJ, desperation flip, trying to help a teammate out. Maybe trying to do just a little too much. Can't imagine there'd be panic setting in though. Still 30 seconds left. It is a two goal game, but it's still very early on in the series. Around the boards, Fever, tough angle, missed, cut it off. And now with 18 seconds left, Alu, throw it downfield, make that task almost impossible now for Renegades. They need a goal in the next few seconds to give themselves a shot at a kickoff goal to tie. And they're just not moving downfield quick enough. Fever all the way across. There's nobody there except Alu. And that's going to do it. Renegades will drop this one as Optic get halfway towards the main event. Finally able to get two games in for Optic. That one definitely had a wild start. But as the game went on, Optic started to control it a little bit more. Lots of freedom in the air on this one, especially for Dries, who again comes out with a hat trick as well as, I mean, just some really highlight level plays from him. You talked about it a little bit earlier in game two. Dries definitely coming into form, stepping up today for Optic Gaming. Yeah, he's just been phenomenal. Three for five in that tie-breaking third game. I mean, the shots technically favoring Renegades, but they're just about even now. That's the first game where they've been even. Renegades winning the game where they vastly outshot Optic. Optic winning game one after dramatically outshooting their oceanic opposition. And now we go towards Utopia for game four. And again, you're not gonna see much panic there. You're not gonna see much nerves. Renegades have been in this spot before fighting for their tournament lives. They know what's ahead. They, they have one match kind of in hand. They're not out if they lose here, but you try to avoid that fifth round where all the pressure is going to be on everybody on the main stage. Yep, the pressure's on. I mean, the pressure's been on this entire solo stage, if we're being honest. Teams have been trying to figure out the, you know, the performance from them. Everybody fighting to be the best in the world here at the World Championship. Performances, prep work, and star-studded performance, or star-studded highlights, I should yeah. say. I mean, everybody has to leave it all out there. 
Missed trying to do just that, but he has met rudely at midfield. So now Kami called into action as well on the defensive end. Both teams slowing down just a little bit. We're not seeing, you know, seven shots, three goals in the first minute of game four. I think after that offensive shootout, both teams kind of realizing, hey, wait a minute. Look, offense will make everything look good. It'll get us on a highlight reel, but defense will get us into the main event. I think we're going to see both teams settle down here. Demolitions away from the play as yet another Optic player deleted off the field. And it's Renegade taking the physical fight to Optic Gaming for a change. But missed shot has to be dealt with by CJ. Alu trying to bring this one in. You can see Drees looking for a way in. Missed with 77. Does play that high. I think he was looking for a better touch so he could try to control the ball a little bit more. but. That was also a good one to be able to get team space. Now he has a chance to control it, plays it all the way across instead of on net. Because again, he wants to keep this within optics control, doesn't want to give a chance for a strong clear to Renegades. Missed oh. to the back board. Oh, I think he might have got nuts just a little bit. He that did. threw off the trajectory. Otherwise, he would have lined up a double to give Optic the lead. But Renegades doing just enough to keep him off the scoreboard for now. Illusion tried to chase CJ. CJ will play this one east west out to the corner. And out towards midfield it goes, where Kami is aggressively up after it. And look at Renegades now, trying to make Optic uncomfortable in their own zone. Kami's going to turn on this. DJ's got the midfield boost. What can he do with it? Well, not a whole lot as he's just going to wait. And Alu plays it right past him. There is Mist to make it 1-0 out of nowhere. Miss was looking for the goal line all series long, all game long here, and he finally gets it. Beats two, puts a lot of power behind it. Miss showing up for Optic. Renegades got to feel like they let an opportunity slip by there. I think they could have done a lot more on that last trip into the offensive end. And they let Optic off the hook, and Optic gratefully claimed it. Now Miss out of the corner. He's got Alu there and some physical play of his own, but this goes back netward and Drees will make sure it doesn't get anywhere close. Renegade's still battling back. We're halfway through with this one. But you can see them getting beat to a lot of these challenges as even though it's a one goal game, I have to give it done a great job of maneuvering possession. That's a big miss though from Drees. Is he gonna get punished for it? Miss back in time. And for Renegade, you wonder, what would have happened if someone was just there a second faster? Renegades have not been outclassed by Optic at all. They have had their opportunities. They've just lacked that last crucial touch, having someone in position to take advantage of a great pass. Drees, always a little wide, is set up there for Alu. And a great job by Renegades, avoiding the physical attack from Optic Gaming. And now Fever across, sent away by Drees, but only as far as Kami. It's coming right back in. CJ, CJ's there, and there is Miss parking the bus right on the goal line. Fever's gonna try, CJ mid. Is he gonna be able to get there? No, a little slow. We'll play this 50 out, Renegades. This is the drive for them, if they can make it work. Off the backboard, Miss, strong clear. Fever trying to keep it in play, team's out of boost. They gotta go back, Fever. Buying a lot of time. And is it enough as Cammy goes into the air, uses all the boost. There's a bump on the play, and this one all the way towards the net, but it will not go in, not on target. Renegades have to try again from their own back half. They really worked hard to get that last drive to work for them, but unfortunately for them, Optic was all over it. It's not just enough to touch the ball. You gotta be able to hit your opponent out of the way, and that's what Optic did a couple times there to keep Renegades from getting a quality look. Demo. There's a demo right in front, and Fever converts with 33 to go. And Renegades charging forward on this one. You see the demo, you see the bump, and you see Fever put it in the back of the net. Everything finally clicking as they tie it up with 33 seconds to go. Renegades refuse to back down. CJ, CJ, lining one up. Drees gets there in time as CJ ran out of gas. And now racing back is Kami to make sure he's got plenty of boost to fend off what could be another charge from Optic at the death of game four, regulation at least. Here's Drees. 
right at Kami. Easy stop. Fever was seven. It should be Renegades to get the last look of regulation in game four before we go to our first overtime. And that's exactly where we go with neither side getting a good look. Chance for Renegades to tie up the series. Chance for Optic to put this one on match point. Can they do it here? It comes down to whoever can get that solid read on the ball. CJ, CJ up. It's a miss from CJ. He was trying to look for a bump to make up for it, but he couldn't. Now Fever with the dribble. Tries to put on a shot. Gets that little lose boost. Looks for a demo on Drees. Renegade sending the house, but they come up empty so far. Kami will gently guide this out to the corner. CJ's there to grab it. And now, can he get Drees? No, he couldn't. But he could still be a nuisance downfield. He goes away from Alu, so Fever's got to do it himself. And Alution there for the stop. Not bumped away by CJ. CJ on that occasion. Now Kami. Took a wide turn, and Aleutian beat him to the punch. Drees is going to have all day to play this ball, and just enough in the tank with a flip reset, but he couldn't dime anybody up, so it goes right back to Aleutian deep in his own territory. Both teams doing a really solid job of controlling the ball on the counter, but it's just not enough. They've been able to match each other's pace. As this OT so big for either side. Oh, CJ with the slow play now. Fever alone. Alu trying to take control. Good beat. CJ, another miss. Is it going to be He's going to go for the demo. You see it come out. A goal line save from miss, but it doesn't matter. Renegades tie up the series. CJ, CJ, another whiff, and it doesn't matter. He had him right where he wanted him all along. Renegades tie the series with a huge OT winner. They come from behind in the final minute and stun Optic Gaming. This is the world championship. Never back down. And that's exactly what Renegades did here, even with Optic controlling the pace, having most of the possession here for this game and looking to expand on some of the opportunities they created. It was a slow crawl for Renegades, but they never lost composure. And it, it, it comes down to this. Big game win for them. We are 2-2. Two, two. We're guaranteed Neo Tokyo here, Stats. And guess what, Daz? 2-2 two, two, and a best of seven effectively makes the rest of the series Don't a best of three Don't do to that. send somebody through into the main event. See, you see his and face? That, that's how I feel. Yeah. <laughs> that's how I feel. It's the well, World Championship, is, Stacks. Come on. That is, that is not something you want to see if you're an Optic fan just wondering, man, where did it all go wrong? Felt like they... Kind of let that one get away, I'm sure, is what they're feeling right now. And then on the other side, you see Drees there right at the end. He's just like, nah, no emotion. He actually is just a cyborg over on the other side. A lot, a lot more confidence on the part of Renegades after they kind of defy the odds. They come back, they tie that game, and then get the winner in OT. Look, CJ did not have his best game by far, but he came through when it absolutely mattered most. And that's all that matters. We're tied up. Game five, Wasteland. And Kami having to fend off an early attack from Optic. Drees somehow managing to read that. Drees also getting a couple of bumps, but it does not yield a goal early. CJ, CJ, you know, you talk about his performance, and I think for him, just an impact player. Able to get the right touches, either on the ball or on the opponent, to put his team in a great spot. But Fever and Kami in their own right have just been phenomenal. Their individual performances are definitely worth noting here for Renegades. As look at this, they try to find each other. It was a great pass from Kami, but still ends up getting away from him. First minute, Renegades have set the pace. You, all, you saw off ball there for a bit. Miss was looking for a demo in the net. Now he has to rush back to make a save. Optic trying to play that aggressive game. They got to stop the shots though, as Renegades keeps peppering them in the net. Is somebody other than Mist going to do something in this game? Halu jumps in front there to get a touch. And Mist will have this one right down to the mid for Lucian to take charge. Looking for anybody to pass to. Drees comes in instead. He's trying to hit up Mist. That meant the spacing was not going to be great for Optic on that trip. And a chance now maybe for Renegades to take advantage of that. A little lapse. Kami up to the backboard. Drees is there. And that's Maybe a point of emphasis as this series has gone on, Daz. The backboard defense on either side had not been great early on. 
But it seems like now everybody has a hand way, way up. Yeah, they, they, they seem much more confident in their drives. They've been able to cover for each other very well. You see a double commit there on that play, but Optic not in a position to punish. So Renegades will be back in time. They have enough time to reset as Dries just playing this into the corner, pinches out, and it looks to go the other way. Two heads often better than one. When you get in the offensive end, trying to get a oh, lead that's blocker. Not a good oh, what a save by Kami coming across. Needed to stay with the play, cleaned up his own mess, and Renegades can breathe a little sigh of relief, but here comes Optic again, missed with Dries to his left. Dries has been awesome, but not this time. Now, Alu and Dries to beat, and CJ, CJ will have that deflected out to the corner away from him. Great work, though, for Renegades. I mean, things did look very sloppy for them. Going into this is one, two, one, and missed, oh my goodness, Optic. What a pass play. Yeah, good luck if you've got ball cam locked, just your head is spinning around. You get dizzy trying to keep track of where this ball is. Kami doing all he can, but he could not jump off the ceiling of the goal quick enough to get down. And Optic strike first, finally, after a nearly two, three minute rally. Oh, another opportunity here as Drees, oh, he had teammates in the center. They had both backed off. And as a result, Fever's gonna march downfield. Renegades immediately answer. What a pass play of their own as well. Look at that, CJ Takami off the back. One, two, three, eyes on me. Renegades, a great equalizer. Three goals to go alongside six assists for Fever. For as much as we talk about how great Dries has been, Fever has been phenomenal as well. Now CJ, CJ, couple goals to his credit. You wouldn't know it after watching last game. But that's in the past, chance at redemption now. Fever, got oh. around and barely saved by Mist. So even though both teams really showing their team performances here in game five, Renegades have not been able to grab the lead yet. Optic set the tone, now they're just trying to battle back. And so that's a good touch out. Fever in a really tough spot, but it's a great recovery. Renegades have not had the cleanest series. But Optic has been pretty slow here as well. I mean, a lot of, I just don't think they expect Renegades to miss some of the touches. And they're not in a position to, to really make the most of it. I mean, look at Alu here. Just not expecting a whiff at all. He's low on boost. Dries is low on boost. Missed the only one with 100. So now Optic have to try to take their time and battle their way back in. Skied up there, clever play by Fever. That definitely threw off Optic. I think Optic have been fooled a few times by Renegade, especially around the midfield line. They're getting very creative and just kind of have Optic collectively scratching their heads. But here's a shot. It's going to go way high. Nobody to follow on the weak side. And then that goes indirect around Illusion. So Mist will take over with 40 seconds left. He's got help coming in. Bounces through and Kami there with the initial save. Fever to clear. Again, Fever has been so great on both halves of the field as we get down to 30 seconds in Optic, reloading. Chance here, flip reset, miss, follow up. There's a demo on the play, but this one goes off to the side. CJ, CJ has eight boosts, they don't know. So he just sends the ball forward, a testing one. Fever wins the 50, and now both teams. It's a war of attrition in the final 10 seconds. Demo in the back line. Big miss from Trees. Is this a chance for Renegades? Fever hunting. The shot's good. Renegades ice up in the final seconds. Sometimes you're the goat. Sometimes you're the scapegoat. And with three seconds left, Renegades have the lead. Can they fend off Optic here for one more kickoff and go on match point? Fever to try and keep it low. Mist is up with it. A uh, Lucian there, and Cameron Johns brings it to ground. Renegades are one win away from the main event. Unbelievable. The amount of clutch in those final seconds. We talked about Optic not being able to punish what Renegades was doing in some of the whiffs. And the one time there's a mistake on the side of Optic, Renegades charge forward. Picture perfect, Fever leading the charge, setting up a lane, Cammy, Excellent shooting to get it to the top left corner. That was everything. Renegades, 
is bringing everything right here. They want that main event. Absolutely. Another eight shot performance. Get this just for all of you out there that just love dumb numbers like I do. Four out of the five games so far have been 2-1 score lines. All three of Renegade's wins have been by that ex exact score, especially with the overtime winner in game four. Renegade's now three games to two. And, well, Aleutian's got to figure it out, right? I mean, he has been the guy so often leading the physical charge for Optic Gaming. He had six demos in one of those games early on, Daz, and since then, I don't think he's had more than a few. They have avoided him. They have avoided Optic. They have not taken a timeout of OG. They are going to bring this right to Neo Tokyo and try and get the job done. But man, oh man, all the momentum belongs to Fever and Renegades. Red Hot Renegades. They start this one off. Fever doesn't need to use the flip, just goes right under Alu, puts it in, and they pick up where they left off. Hangman is coming down from the gallows, and it's Optic that does not have very long. 4.55 to find an answer, and maybe they need two. It's on the goal line, and Fever's done it again. Right off the kickoff, Fever with the ball. He's making me sick the way he's outperforming Optic right now. Two goals in the first 10 seconds. Unbelievable how this has devolved into the Fever highlight reel. And now CJ, CJ, is he gonna style on him? Couldn't get around, missed. But Kami is there, and now Fever tracking underneath. They got him away from the goal at least. So now Dries right up against Kami. Opportunity for Alusha to get one back, and he's denied by Fever, so here goes Kami again. Kami with CJ underneath, not anymore. He's demolished by Fever. Quick turn, and he had to avoid some physical play out in front. It's a good job by Optic not letting this get out of hand just yet. It's only one goal away from getting out of hand. Big misses there. No one able to really follow up. They've been able to stop the bleeding, which is the first 10 seconds. We finally have gotten almost a minute of just straight gameplay here. But my goodness, they got some work to do. Otherwise, we are going to see them later on fighting for their life at the World Championship. They swept Zenbei Strikers. They swept Dignitas. They were swept by Carmine Corp. And now, after going 2-0, Optic Gaming, unless they've got a comeback, are in danger of going into round five. But Optic gets one back here off the demolition. It's Illusion who scores. Oh, it's the double commit from Renegades. Miss goes upfield. Toodaloo, CJ, CJ. Optic said they're not done yet. Time on the clock. You got to start looking at it. Renegades have to maintain this lead. It's Kami with Fever running ahead. Illusion avoided him. So too did Miss. And now Fever's got to race back. They left CJ, CJ all alone to the back and did not pay the price for it. Now Fever with 40 in the tank. Couldn't get through Mist. Very few can. The shot looked a little wide. CJ was there to cover just in case. Now Mist coming through, and CJ, CJ bullies him away. Two in the corner there for Optic. Finally a chance here for a little bit of space for Renegades. Fever puts what it a in pass. a tough spot. Kami just a little late there. Renegades finally with some space, but it gets away from him. Even though they started off strong, they have to keep it up because Optic are knocking at the door. Chance there for a couple of shots from Optic. Both blocked out as we approach the halfway point in game six. CJ had to panic a little bit with that offensive pressure coming, but Renegades did well enough. Oh. How about that from Fever? He just can do no wrong here in the later stage of this series. Missed high bouncer and Fever's right back in their grill. CJ, CJ now. Can he get a bump? No, Dries well over top, and now missed redirect will be a, a little bit wide. Plays that into the corner, and you can see Optic charging for it. Look at Alu chasing down Fever in the goal line. Fever maintaining composure. Will be able to clear it out, but only for a moment. Optic getting bumped themselves. They're looking for a way in. They're trying to find the mistake in Renegades. They might have found it. No, it's a goal line save. Follow for miss. Blocked out by CJ. CJ, who has zero boost. Renegades get a chance to fill up. 
and they're gonna try to take it the other way. Oh, Kami denied by Myth. Great saves by Kami and CJCJ to keep Optic out of their net. Still the one goal lead. Spotted to them by Fever with his two goals in the first 10 seconds. Optic were 2-0 in the Swiss stage. Now it looks like they could be fighting for their lives in the world championship. How the th tables turn, almost a response there. They want this one so bad, Sack, but Renegades, they won't let go. Almost at the final minute. Chance there, they're double committing. Everybody jumping in front of everybody. My turn offense for Optic Gaming. They have reverted to their old envy ways. Here's Fever, denied by Myth. And Drees can go chase this down. He's got to be the calming influence. And he's the youngster on the squad. Alu out in front for Mist. And that's blocked aside as Kami goes to chase it with 40 seconds left. Optic forced back into their own territory. They forced it out. There was a demo on the play for Renegades. Now Renegades have to be careful here. All it takes is one wrong touch. CJ, CJ moving upfield. He only had nine boosts there. Big dunk, he needs to make a good touch here, and he does. He buys the rest of the team some time so they can get back. 20 seconds, they have everything going for them. Ball in front here on Optic's half. They just need to 50 correctly, but there's a demo on the back end. Trees has space, but he only has six boosts. He has to give up the ball. Final 10 seconds here for Renegades. If they can hold on, they go to the main event. Cami sends this one high. Ball in the air, Alu to miss. It's I'm still dangerous. Up. But Cammy puts it down! Renegades do it! We'll see them at the main event next week!